Hey, I'm Enoch from All Dogs Off Road, and today we're going to give you a quick rundown on uh, patching a puncture in your tire. Um, so we got a nice kit here from Power Tank that uh, they were so kind enough to provide us, and we're going to do a nice little switch out. Should be a quick video. Uh, it's a pretty simple process, but I've never done it myself, so I figured if I can do it, you can do it too. All right, so first things first, we're gonna pull out whatever has punctured your tire. In my case, it's been this giant screw. But before I do that, let's get our tools prepped. So we got our, uh, our reamer here. I'm gonna put a little lube on it. Once I pull this out, I'm gonna put that reamer in there, uh, kind of open up the hole a little bit, and then we're gonna grab the insertion and go from there, but first, Let's get this set up so that way we're not letting all the air out of the tire before we get the puncture change. Because if you're doing this on the trail, you want to limit your your tire or your air loss. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. got that good all right I got the hole I'm just gonna work this in at the same angle that I took that at uh, at because so that way to follow the same hole there we go all right all the way through got that reamed all right now we're gonna we're gonna grab the uh, this is a little insertion tool. Same thing. We're gonna and the the insertion tool for the plug. I should specify. So we're gonna lube this up on the tip. Take one of these plugs here. They are super sticky, so be aware. I'm gonna take this guy, slide it right through the eye, the eye hole. Easier said than done, I guess. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this pulled through. All right. Let's working this through here. I think this might be the hardest part. There we go. So you want to get it halfway. Make sure that loop stays on there. All right, so now we're going to pull this out and then we're going to put this bad boy right in. <sighs> Lesson learned here. Timpolite tires are really, really hard to get this bad boy through. Uh, I had to get a little assistance to get this through, but uh, it is successful. So now, once you've gotten this all the way in, that's the, the eyelid part with the plug in on it. Uh, you make sure you get that all the way into the tire. Once that's all the way into the tire and set, twist it a couple times, and then you're gonna pull it back out. So at this point, we're, we're completely seated with the plug, and now we're just gonna give it a tug. And this should separate from the plug and leave the inside. There we go. You can see a little residue left over from the plug from us pulling it out. Not too shabby. And now we've got this more than half of it inside the tire. And we're just gonna give this a little tug just to make sure. And that's nice and solid. I'm giving it a good strong pull and it's not pulling out. So at this point, we're gonna clean this up. We're just gonna take a little a uh, utility knife and just kind of cut off the excess and you're ready to hit the trail again. All 
So kind of the last step that we'll have is we're gonna clip off all the extra of the plug that we put in so that way it's not flapping around and making loud noises. And with that, I just got a uh, nice little wire clippers, nothing crazy. Most people should probably have these in their tool set. And we just wanna work our way through the cut. Obviously sharper is better. These are a little bit old, but I think they'll do. There we go. And we just want to get it below that tire so that way we're just nice and nice and clean and we don't get that slapping noise while we're driving down the road. So we're just cleaning that up with this uh, utility knife that's provided in the kit. Nice and flat, super clean. We're really happy with this uh, power tank kit. It has everything you need to accomplish a uh, punctured tire while on the trail. We've got uh, valve stem removers, valve stem replacements. We've got the, the uh, pliers. We've got a cutter for the plug, all the plugs you'll need, uh, detailed instructions, and the reamer and insertion tool for the plug. So this is a really great kit to kind of get you out there and keep you safe while you're on the trail.